Kennedy, but he's doing a really good job right now on the high school level. You see his poise, you see his confidence, not only on the field, but off the field as well. You talk to him in person every day, and he just seems like, hey, he's a guy that's really ready to command his football team at each and every step. Gerhard Mathangani talking about Jared Hollins, the MGM quarterback. If you're just tuning in, we apologize for the momentary audio problem there. We've got it all fixed up. Gerhard, I'm Simone Eli. We're joining you from Sims as we preview the Battle of West Mobile. It's fourth ranked MGM and number seven Baker going head to head in this game. And like we said off the top, Gerhard, this isn't for the region title quite yet, right. but certainly the team that wins this game is going to be in control. You don't have to wait or hope that somebody else does, the, uh, does lose later on or any other things in the region have to drop your way for the loser. But you're right, for the winner, not only do you have bragging rights, which is one form of, of gloating, so to speak, as this you know, game means a lot to these communities, but also, as you mentioned, you are now the sole possession of first place leaving here after these 48 minutes. So Absolutely. you cannot really extend the importance of this game really as not only as to here, but also in the playoffs as well. Yeah, over on the other side of the field, Baker just arrived a minute ago. Uh, you'll see Steve Norman. He was down there somewhere a second ago, but their quarterback is Josh Flowers, and he has been unbelievably impressive. Uh, so far this season as well. He is a true dual threat guy for the Hornets, Gerhard. Uh, we've seen this guy post over 2,000 yards, total yards. Uh, he, he can just get you with your feet. He's, he's a huge playmaker. It's not weird to see a stat line of Josh that says 200 plus yards passing and 100 plus yards rushing, three touchdowns or two <laughs> touchdowns, either way, yep. rushing or passing. He affects the game in so many ways because you have to account for him in every facet. So you can't always just drop everybody back because he can hurt you with his legs. You can't rush him because he can hurt you with his arm as well. Like you said, true dual threat is the reason why the coaches over at Mississippi State mm -hmm. really loved him and the coaches just on the college level love him as well. He's an athletic player. He's not necessarily huge. He's not a big guy, but he is certainly a dangerous athlete. Yeah, he really is. We spoke to him uh, going into this week, and he said there's been a high energy with this team at practice so far, uh, that they know this is a big game, but they also have to treat it like every other game a little bit too. You have to have uh, the energy level be high, but also the emotions be uh, tempered, so to speak there, Gerhard. One of the things that I've really loved about football for as long as I've covered football is the balance. Yeah. You have to balance so many things. When the energy level of these kind of games brings us upon, you don't want to ignore it because these are some of the best times in yeah. your life. Yes, However, absolutely. However, at the same time, I love that. I love that player perspective. You want to bring yeah. it down enough to where you can execute yeah. and do the things that we've been doing since the spring. Yeah. Yes, in the spring, it's hot and nobody's on the field or nobody's in the stands. Sure, nobody's sure, sure. watching yeah. and you're doing the real work. But you want to take the execution of the spring and the summer and fall camp and games one through whatever mm -hmm. to the regular season at the same time embracing this moment because these things only happen once in a lifetime. Yeah, and it definitely does. And for MGM, it only really happens once in a very long time. Right. Uh, they do hold the edge in this in this series, but for 12 years, they lost to the Hornets, 12 right. straight. And then last year in Zach Golson's first season at MGM, they go on the road, they beat Baker, they earn a playoff spot for the first time in 20 years. I mean, so much momentum right now for this program, Gerhard. I cannot wait for kickoff at 7 o'clock. MGM had that losing streak to begin last year, and then won a bunch of games. This, being, this one obviously being one of the games that they won. And they've certainly carried that momentum into this season. Now can they carry it into another battle of West Mobile? That will be determined coming up tonight when we kick it all off at 7. We will find out, guys. We will have uh, more live coverage on WKRG News 5 at 6 o'clock. Be sure to tune in, and we will see you then.